Oh my gosh. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today I'm actually really excited to film. Um, I am back upstairs in my bedroom in front of my vanity. But yeah, it's been a while since I've done a video like this. So today's video is going to be me doing mostly first impressions. Um, there are some products that I already have on my face, so like my base face products are not first impressions. Uh, yeah, but most of it is first impressions and they have come from my subscription boxes, primarily my September Ipsy Glam Ultra Supreme something or other, I don't know. Um, it's like their $25 box. And the other products are from my September Boxy Lux, which some of them I've used, and I'll go through that and just kind of give you like a breakdown of what I thought of those products. But yeah, let's just get into this because I'm actually running out of time. I have to go pick my kids up from school in less than, oh, I have to be there in less than an hour, so this is gonna be real fast. Okay, so first from my Ipsy Glam, I think it's the Ipsy Glam Plus is what I got. I recycled the box and I also recycled the pamphlet already because like I said, I opened it and I'm just kind of like meh and then got rid of everything. So I don't know how much this stuff costs. If I can find it, I will leave it all in the description box down below. I'll actually try to link all the products that I've used. All right, I am gonna go ahead and put on concealer, which I don't really feel necessarily like I need to use concealer with this combination. However, because it is a little bit darker, I wanna brighten under my under eyes. So this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, which this is not a first impression. It also does not want to focus. Hello, camera? No, but that's okay. It is in the shade Light Fair um, 10.0. It's neutral undertones. I love this stuff. Super freaking thick, but it really conceals. And because I have older skin, I don't feel like it like cakes up and makes all those weird lines and wrinkles. So I'm gonna put this on and then I'm gonna use a new powder. Do any of you guys have days where like your pores just do not want to be covered? Mine are freaking huge today. All right, so that's the concealer. For powder today, I'm gonna use the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. This is just a loose translucent powder. It doesn't say anything on the packaging. Um, so I don't know if it's like blurring or if it has like flashback. Probably should have opened all of this before hitting record. The only thing about this is this is very, very white and usually white powders give me a ton of flashbacks. So we'll see. However, it doesn't really matter because I don't take a lot of flash photography and I use the Cody Airspun powder most of the time, which has major flashback and I still love it. So whatever, I don't care. Um, I just put a little bit of powder in the lid and I'm just going to set my foundation oh wow that like really mattified it i don't know if you guys can see the difference and it actually really blurred my pores on my chin okay this might be good okay it definitely looks very makeup-y <laughs> on my nose not a fan of how that looks Oh gosh, I look super ghostly. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. So it definitely like blurred everything, but at the same time, I do feel like it kind of left a little bit of a color cast. Uh, my face is mattified where I set it, but I don't know. It looks super powdery and makeup-y. I'm gonna set the rest of my face and then we're just gonna move on. So this is my face with the powder on. I'm just trying to brush off any excess so it looks less cakey and powdery. It did like blur all of my pores, my fine lines, my wrinkles, all that stuff. I don't hate it. I don't know that I love it. I guess we'll just see how the other products go on top. 
and I just spilled the excess. Love that. And next, we're gonna try the Park Avenue Princess palette by Tarte. I think it's like a chisel palette. Yeah, chisel palette. This is what it looks like on the inside. These are more of like brightening powders. These are the bronzers, which this looks more like a banana type powder. It's got a lot of yellow tint to it, where this one looks more like it would match my skin tone. I already feel so pale. I don't think I need to use a brightening powder. When it comes to the bronzers, I feel like this one's the lightest. These two are shimmers. Um, I'm gonna go with this one. Oh my gosh. I didn't expect that much pigment. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna look crazy going and picking up my kids. Okay, it's all right. We'll just blend it out. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, it's all right, it's okay. <laughs> I wanted to like warm up my face. I look like I just flat out set it on fire. Oh no. What have I done? Maybe it's not that bad. I'm just gonna have <laughs> a strong contour. Definitely be careful with this because the pigment is insane. I mean, that's what these lighter powders are for. It's to help fix your mistakes when you go in. Too hard with the contour. I do feel like these blend super nicely. Maybe I should not have put that on my nose because I think I just made it look more broken. We're just gonna have to keep moving on. So this, use with caution because it is pigmented. So then next I have this. It is by Ofra Cosmetics. It is in collaboration with Madison Miller, who I don't know who Madison Miller is, but this came in my Ipsy box. It is a blush and two highlight palette. And I don't know, let me swatch these highlights. So this is the more pinky tone. Ooh, that's pretty. I love Ofra highlights. They are my favorite by far. Um, these look a little dark though. So that's the more golden highlight, this one here. They look, they look dark. I definitely think this one is way too dark. That one looks like I might be able to make it work, which honestly, I love a pink highlight anyhow. Then this blush. Okay. It's pretty pigmented too. I actually really like that shade. It looks pinker on my skin than it does in the palette. These don't have any names. Honestly, there's nothing on the back, but let's just try. I'm afraid to use anything now because of how much pigmentation there was. I think it's pretty. I actually really like it. So the blush is very pigmented too. We're just going for a very intense face day. That's okay, it's all right. We're okay. I'm gonna use this pink shade here and hope for the best. That is actually really, really pretty. I really, really like that. soft and subtle, but I feel like you could build it for even more intensity. It's really, really pretty. It would have been perfect for summer, uh, but I will definitely still be using it well into fall. So now we're gonna do eyeshadow, which I'm gonna use the Violet Voss Essentials Pro Series. This is what it looks like on the inside. Very, very pretty for fall. Um, I have to leave in about 15 minutes, so this is gonna be a quick look. Let me put some concealer down real fast to set my eyes. There is not a skin tone shade in this palette for me to set that concealer. So I'm gonna grab my Kat Von D shade and light eye palette and I'm gonna use this shade right here. Is that Latest? It's either Latest or Ludwin, but I'm gonna use this shade here. Okay, so that's set. 
I really hope I'm not breaking my makeup as I throw it onto my bed. I'm gonna go in with Dusty Rose, this shade right here. That's gonna be my transition shade. And I'm just gonna grab a fluffy blending brush. Oh, that's got some pigment too. Do you guys see that? Let me bring you guys in for the eyes. Don't judge my face, okay? Not the best looking right now. This has a lot more pigment than I anticipated. I'm just gonna do the same to the other eye. Okay, so that is the pink shade as a transition. I feel like they blended really, really nicely. And they would have blended even better if I didn't have all of these stray eyebrow hairs, but I think it looks really, really nice. And I'm gonna grab this cinnamon shade. And on camera, it looks a lot more red, but I think it's more of like a burgundy -ish shade. And I'm just gonna try to deepen that crease a little. These shadows are super pigmented, you guys. I really like this palette. Hmm. All right, so the next I'm gonna take this. It's just pink. It's one of their metallic shades. And I'm just gonna put that on the lid. I'm first gonna use just like a regular brush. Oh, I'm really running out of time. Ooh. That's super pretty. I am getting a little bit of fallout. Not a lot though. And it could be because I'm really running out of time, so I'm really having to hurry. Ooh, I love this. Then for my lower lash line, I'm gonna take the cinnamon and the dusty rose color and just go along my lash line. And blend it out. All right, and that is the eye look. That's all I have time for right now. I am gonna take this shade here. It's cream, it's another metallic. I'm gonna use that as an inner corner highlight. That is gorgeous. I was not incredibly inspired by this palette, but I'm gonna have to play with it a ton more because wow, just wow. It's a little bit on my tip of my nose. I'm also gonna use that under my brows. That is gorgeous highlight. So that's the eyeshadow. So next I'm gonna use this Hank and Henry Blickety Black Eyeliner. This is what the pin looks like. Okay, so my hand was shaking. It doesn't look the best, but you get a pretty fine line. It doesn't look super pigmented though. And I lied. It has a lot of pigment. I'm just gonna draw a real simple line on my lid because I don't have time for a wing right now. I feel like I can have a lot of control with this, especially since I have such shaky hands. This is nice. Bravo. Really, really like that. Great product. Okay, I was gonna do lashes, but I don't have time. Let me spray my face real fast, and then I'm gonna do mascara. Let me back you guys back out. This didn't come in a subscription box, uh, but it is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Oh, I didn't tight line or waterline. It's okay. I don't have time. Oh, come on. It looks like I have five lashes. They're all just sticking together and clumping. And I don't think it's the mascara. I think it's, I'm hurrying. So there's my mascara. I don't know how I feel about this mascara. Uh, my lashes are pretty sad already. So I'm gonna try this mascara another time because there's no way that so many people love this mascara and this is what it's doing. My camera died and I don't think I got the footage of me putting on the lipstick, but it is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. It is in the shade Robino. Of course, it doesn't want to focus. 
yeah it still does not want to focus but that's okay it's in the shade Urbino I feel like it's kind of a berryish brick red if that makes any sense it looks nice it does kind of like turn into kind of like a magenta y pink on the outside of it but I like it it's pretty good but yeah you guys this is the final look let me know what you guys think below I actually really do like it I like the pinks and the reds I do think this looks pretty fallish and yeah I like it I'm glad that I got these products I might try Ipsy again. I don't know. I know that they just came out with that really big box. I think it's like the Ipsy Ultimate or whatever. And somehow I got an email saying that I was approved. I didn't even try to get on that list, but apparently I'm on the list uh, so that I can actually get that. And I might, I don't know, it's like $50 a month. I don't know. But I'm gonna go, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. It's been a really long time since I've done a get ready with me and try new products. Leave some comments down below with what you guys would like to see next, and I will see you guys in my next video. So bye!